Hello and welcome to another recap with me, Morgoth. Uh, in our latest war, we have done, I think, one of the best wars we've done in a very long time. We were against Killer of Clash, another um, level 11 clan. Uh, they're all right. They're not bad. They, they got uh, 60 stars, but we only missed out on five. Uh, so we tripped all the tens, all the nines. I think there were one or two town hall hates on the bottom as well. Five elevens, and we two start all of them. I mean, what else can you ask for? Not triples at the moment. So, um, yeah, it was really good form for us. Um, I'm going to crack straight on and get in with the raids. Uh, got quite a few to show you today. So, uh, oh, no, wrong one. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, crack on with the raids. Let's go. Uh, go in first. So this was quite a nice one. This was a queen walk combined with small zapquake on the bottom but um just really really nicely executed just held on to uh, everything as he needed it uh, didn't spend the spells too quickly kept his cool when things went a little bit wrong it went really really nicely so he starts the queen walk up here um she's just going to get rid of some of the defenses on the side cannon mortar um, none of these are really problems uh, for these drags, but it's just extra trash, which is not going to have to get cleaned up later on. And um, basically the aim with this uh, queen walk was to get rid of this Ferno here, I think the queen down here, and this um, air defense, because he brings this king in now. And the king's going to start walking up here. I think the aim was the king raged through here and uh, he could get rid of, uh, rid of everything else. But because of uh, that CC coming in, I think Queen gets distracted and starts coming up top. So she doesn't make her way to the bottom and she misses out on these two here. Uh, not a problem, because I think he might have provisioned this happening. And this loon comes, uh, sorry, a hound drags loon come in, rage straight away. And because that Queen's strike, you know, right, um, right at the beginning, she's only level 15 as well. I mean, low heroes from these guys. Um, it's not going to be a problem to just kind of get rid of her. All those drags firing on her. Uh, our queen's going to continue way, working her way around, so um, she's just going to, you know, make her way. A uh, little rage there just to make sure she stays alive. And uh, with these Tezzas in the core, um, unfortunately he loses one dragon to sort of trying to take out the town all by himself. Uh, but the rest of these dragons uh, around here on the side. So you're going to see um, this air defense is eventually going to get taken out by the queen as well. Very nice. Uh, and all we're going to do is make sure you've only got four dragons left at this point and they're not on amazing health. So you just got to make sure as soon as he comes into that inferno right then, rage through just to make sure um, your drags don't get hit too much by it. Fortunately, only really one was going on to target and the rest was targeting everything else. But on rage, it's only three hits and he's gone down. Obviously that... It's getting close to that cleanup portion of the uh, raid. I mean, everything else is pretty much cleared. He had a wizard cleaning up on top for him. Queen's made her way around. And then, I'll just speed up a bit. Dragons, there's still four left, but this one's going to get killed pretty quick. They managed to get that Tezza just before it kills the Queen. And then, I mean, not a problem. You've got three drags to take out, a Tesla and a Town Hall. So, yeah, that was a really, really nice raid. Good job from Gore. Um, went pretty well to plan. Nice one. Next, I will show uh, Jeff uh, taking on nine. This is a nice one too. This is a um, go boho. Not not such an easy uh, base to max drags. It's not uh, the ring, which is quite popular at the moment. Um, so he comes in for a go boho straight in at the bottom with the golems. But uh, good side to kind of uh, start it from a bit of a rubbish base. I mean, the heroes are external. Um, it's symmetrical. It would have worked well for an air attack as well, I think, since, um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Goblins come in, uh, mass bowlers behind, heroes are in, uh, Queenie's going to come in in a second. I think he's a bit late deploying her, really. Um, where is she? Does he leave her for cleanup? I think he might have forgotten the Queen. Anyway, uh, jump goes straight down, rage everyone in there, and the poison goes on the CC as well, so that's going to get taken care of pretty quick. Heal, uh, quite importantly, on that. Uh, oh man, everything just goes so quickly. Heal on the bowlers, rage on the core again, and then that freeze essentially on the inferno tower to make sure everything gets taken care of. I think he did forget the queen because she just gets deployed there at the end, maybe to help with a little bit of the cleanup. But to be honest, you see those bowlers on rage, can easily get rid of the enemy queen, and then 
there's not really that much left for cleanup. I mean, he's got these uh, hogs going around. He doesn't have a heal for them. He doesn't really need a heal for them. Um, everything else has been targeted, and it's all going to plan, really. Uh, so, yeah, these hogs make their way around. Unfortunately, they do start dying out just a little bit. It doesn't have any healers on this raid, so nothing to sort of pick up um, when people start dying out. But these hogs make their way around, and although... Uh, take a little bit of damage from that wizard tower. Pretty much it starts focusing down on this corner right here. Unfortunately there's uh, two um, bits of uh, splash damage going on here and the king's there too. So they end up dying uh, pretty quick as does this bowler. Uh, luckily you've got <laughs> Queenie uh, making her way around with these two wizards. Um, probably a good thing he saved Queen for the end there. Um, and she's got her ability as well, so she's just going to do clean up. Easily going to get rid of that bomb tower and uh, that last uh, archer tower. So that's pretty much done and dusted. Good job, Jeff. That's how you triple. Nice one. Uh, on to the Town Hall 9. So um, what we're seeing pretty consistently uh, is Goho's. Uh, they're pretty much the standard at the moment. A lot with Queen Walks as well. When you see... Um, the opportunity for an effective queen walk, such as in a base like this, you might as well take it. With this queen walk, he's going to get um, three very heavy um, uh, hog targeting troops. You know, wizard tower, bomb tower, and a mortar as well. Uh, they're pretty good to get rid of, and you can get rid of you know three of those on a queen walk, and then continue on with cannon and arch tower as well. Why the hell not? I mean, it's pretty much perfect for it. So they, they're going to start making their way around. Uh, nice and simply, the, he, he brings these minions in early. Very nice use of minions to funnel. Uh, they're just all oh, nearly loses the queen there. Very, very close with that rage. But um, minions are perfect for funneling this occasion, especially when he's he hasn't bought any wall breakers, so he's actually going to use a double jump first on this um, compartment here, um, and secondly to this uh, second portion of the base. Uh, so that's nice. They start coming in straight away. Bowler's in, King in, and now it gets juicy. So um, all the spells go down so quickly. That's raged up, poisoned down. Um, bowlers finally walk in. One of them goes walkabout. Um, the bowlers are a bit scarce. They take a bit of a while to, to work their way through this part. But finally, Queen takes out the CC. And then that second jump goes down. So this is a bit. This is a bit slow. I mean, you've got um, a golem and golemite targeting uh, second rage in the core, um, and he, he cleverly just check this out on the side. This bowler was staying alive, and he wanted to keep it for cleanup. So he brings these hogs in early enough for the um, basic bowler to save, and uh, it can continue on with the cleanup on the outside. Hogs are taking some tanking for it. Then you bring it around here. He used. Uh, all the spells on the um, bowlers and such. Uh, so he doesn't actually have any heals left for these uh, hogs. But he doesn't really need it because, I mean, it's just in terms, it's clever in terms of planning what's left on your raid and what you need to take into account. So when you're bringing in your hogs and what direction you're going to take them from, he, br he brought them in here knowing fully well that the army would make their way around to this section of the base here. So when the hogs came round to here, they would end up tanking. Um, they would end up being tanked for by the golems and the heroes. So it works out pretty well. That's the kind of level of planning that means if you triple. And he did so. Uh, good job, mate. Cracking job. I think you're like an eleven star, eleven three star streak. It's pretty crazy. Good job. Next. Um, oh, thanks, Stu. <laughs> Next, we will be checking out uh, Hercules on 15. Hercules, you hero. Um, this is a base you around quite a lot. It's pretty common, um, but just a nice executed attack. Um, he goes in for a bit of a stone go-ho. Uh, Golems are basically going to jump all the way through here into this base here and then take out this compartment and jump to this compartment here. Nice, really effective use, taking that many golems. You kind of can take liberties with uh, the outside. Bowlers come in, and then this is pretty much um, the rest of it. I mean, he almost, almost doesn't really need that rage. Uh, I mean, it's useful to take care of some of the initial troops. 
especially that CZ coming out. But it's not that essential, to be honest. There wasn't too much fire coming on, and the Golems were probably going to be uh, tanking for it a bit. So that's not too necessary. One Golem gets distracted, but two of them start making it around. So we just can see one compartment's cleared, two compartments cleared. This compartment isn't really a problem, apart from some Tesla's pop up later. So he starts bringing the hogs up uh, here. And I think this is a mistake. I mean, to get, don't get me wrong, he gets the three star. Also, uh, note very cleverly, this jump is just on the edge here, so everyone can end up walking out and joining up down here. But I don't think he needed to bring the hogs in at this compartment because the king was there, he was going to clean it up. The golems were there, the queen was there. He didn't need to bring the hogs that early. They end up coming here and dying out, frankly, because of the king and wizard tower. Um, I think he should have come into this compartment here. Uh, they would have got rid of this compartment first, and then uh, they would have made their way around to this compartment here as the queen was coming in and starting to tank. I just think it would have made a bit more sense because end up here, you don't want the hogs coming at the end of your raid with the skelly trap coming up, a wizard tower, two teslas, and an archer tower. They end up dying, which is exactly what happens. Um, it managed to get rid of that wizard tower, but there's just that tesla left. So the end, it is the Queen who ends up having to take the rap for the end of the raid. Uh, not the end of the world. I mean, he still gets three stars, don't get me wrong. But I just think it probably could have been avoided uh, from the angle the Hogs came in. Anyway, cracking job, mate. Uh, good three star. There you go. Next on, I think we've got three more very nice attacks to show you. We will show uh, on 16 straight away, Penny. This was a really nice attack. Um, <clears throat> he doesn't. Uh, he basically gets a very effective use of the kill squad. Uh, well, I say kill squad. Um, enemy queen. Oh no! Ah, oh, I can't talk. Sorry. He gets a very effective use out of his queen walk. <laughs> Start again. Uh, basically, with his queen walk, he's going to get this air defense, the CC, and the enemy queen. Um, doesn't really even need a rage. Um, it's a perfect base for a Lalo as well. If you think about it. Symmetrical, um, perfect to ring around. Uh, goes pretty much to plan, really. Apart from with a bit of trouble with an air sweep at Bane of My Life, those things. Doesn't need to break into this compartment. You can put a poison down the enemy queen. Um, get rid of the air defense in absolutely no trouble. Gets that uh, <laughs> air sweeper as well. So that's one air sweeper gone. Lures the CC out. He didn't even need that hog. Uh, rage just to make sure they don't die out. Doesn't need to use the ability, and as soon as that in, he's just going to surgical work his way around with the Lalo. Um, now, this was a pretty nicely done. The Queen's going to walk around this bottom portion too, and it's probably a good thing she does. Um, put the army in a different place to the uh, Queen. He puts a haste here just to make sure that um, those guys work their way to that uh, air defence in time. It's, it's pretty standard in terms of the Lalo and um, working around surgically. But we get into a bit of a problem here. Um, so the heel comes down on these loons. But this air sweeper is just doing a bit too much in terms of... Well, it is, it's doing its job, but it's just preventing these um, the loons uh, from uh, just making their way around. So you see that air sweeper just pushes them out of the way. Uh, end up going for that bomb tower, which is good. But air defense as well. End up, get, end up get taken out. Luckily, Queenie here is to, uh, there to save the day. And whilst he's got that uh, uh, haste to getting all those loons on their way, Queenie ends up taking uh, the Expo, the Archer Tower, uh, sorry, Air Defense, and the Wizard Tower. So Queen does an absolute great job there. Um, actually, no, she just misses the Wizard Tower. The great thing about this raid is uh, the amount of uh, hounds that you take means that there's always a huge amount of pups there doing some cleanup there from on the side for you. So that always works out really, really great. Uh, end of the day, not, nothing else to take out apart from that wizard tower. So great job, mate. Three stars to three star, even if uh, that air sweep have got any tits a bit. So uh, great job, mate. Onwards and upwards. So next, uh, number 22 is, uh, I'm going to show base. B -b -b base. Base has been pretty good recently, uh, doing a lot of triples. Uh, so this was a really nice attack. Um, starts with Queen Walk again. Uh, decides to uh, take out this bottom compartment. So this is a nice one. Uh, no Golem in this one at all, actually. You see, it's pretty much uh, Bovaho, really. Uh, but he's 
using those valks pretty much to get rid of the entire oh she nearly died out there the entirety of this base i mean you can really walk your way around it and um, he's just got enough heels to make sure that they stay alive queenie ends up walking um away from that compartment so this is it goes a little bit awry initially and we're sort of thinking ah no how's he going to recover from this how's he going to make uh, that queenie go back in uh, starts the funnel on top already uh, with that baby drag. Has to rage queen up again as well. So that's two rages gone. Um, he's still got the queen ability, but that is two rages gone. Uh, another baby drag to help funnel, but that goes immediately. Uh, but queenie starts going back into the uh, compartment, so it's all okay. Uh, and then the main portion is coming in. So that has been essentially funneled a, um, a whole path for the Valks and Bowlers to come in. These are powerful guys. The only issue about this is that that is an entirely air-based CC and there is absolutely no air targeting troops in here. So he sends a baby dragon and luckily they go straight on to that CC. Pa um, puts a uh, poison on them as well and she ends up taking them straight out. Only just though, that's very close. Heal on the uh, main kill squad working their way through. Queenie's just getting stuck here, getting rid of some traps. But... I mean, great job, uh, I think, really, just... Was there a witch there? Did I see some skellies coming around? I do not know. Uh, anyway, uh, they worked their way around, but I think the essential use here was the Valks were healed up and not the Hogs. If their Valks were not healed up, they would not have given, gotten rid of a lot of that um, trash, which has basically um, taken up a lot of the base. Um, those Hogs would easily have died out I think if they've been healed up, there weren't quite as many of them, but the Valks on form, if they've been healed up, they can work their way around and they will do the essential damage that is necessary. And then after that, I mean, look at all that's left for cleanup. That queen is still on full, all those bowlers, all those healers, king's on full too. Great job, mate. Really, really cracking job. The last base I'm going to show is Dusky taking out a ring base. Barbarian King, Tony Stark, Elsa's mum. This is some inventive names uh, anyway yeah dusky taking out 27 perfect base for lalo really um kind of asked for it bare heroes lures out the cc oh just terrible base lures out the cc um sends the heroes in naked because they, they can pretty much take the cc out uh, by themselves they're not going to be a problem poison down king takes out the queen um he's yeah, he's doing a bit of uh, basically aggroing the CC so the Queen can take him out. Queen's going to go and get this um, air defense as well. Uh, so then you've basically just got to work this weight base around surgically. I mean, the Queen as well is really nice what she's doing. She's pathing out a um, just a direction for the uh, loons and air, air base to follow around. So now they're just going to work around nice and surgically. You send the hounds out in front. Unfortunately, those scissors pop up, which does distract some of these loons. And I think he kind of panics a bit and decides to uh, rage the core when there's not really enough to sort of respond to the rage. And these guys miss out on as well. So whilst he's doing a good job working around surgically with the rest of the um, rest of the Lalo, as he should, um, they're just uh, a bit of a wasted rage on that core then, basically. Uh, and unfortunately, those loons end up dying out here because the air sweeper gets them and the hounds don't quite make it there in time. He's got three hounds there. I think he should, probably should have waited a little bit of time for one more. Um, anyway, that uh, archer tower's down. This sweep is causing a bit of a problem as per, but not a problem at all. They can work their way around. And then all you've got is a lot of loons targeting only three Teslas. Nice and easy because the expos are sent to ground. I mean, it's pretty much textbook. And you can speed up here to then because there are all those pups doing all the damage. Nice job, mate. Absolutely cracking. So uh, that is it for this recap. I will do a quick shout out to everyone who six starred but weren't featured as well. So in my team, there was, I mean, Chris, you were very, very close with that. Uh, so Jeff, six stars, actually 12 because you got six on your mini as well. Kev, six stars, sorry you weren't in this one. Uh, Dusky, six stars. Jacob, six stars, you're on a 11 star, 11 triple streak now, pretty good. 
Ali very, very close. Rossi very close. Penny, nice job. Base very close. My, Mitch incredibly close and <laughs> one off and then Jeff too and Sven as well so yeah that is it thank you very much for tuning in and I will catch you next time bye